Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. And in today's video, this is a continuation to my What If series, What If Bardock Was Wished Back to Life. If you guys have not yet seen the previous parts, I highly suggest you go and watch them. Or if you have no memory of them at all, you can go watch them, or I will do a summary of them as well. So, I'll put a card in the top right of the screen to part one, and I will put links to the previous two parts down in the description below, so you have easy ways of going to go watch them if you need to. Before we get into this video guys, please leave a like if you do enjoy, comment down below telling me your thoughts, giving me suggestions, and criticizing of course, subscribe if you are new, turn on notifications if you want to see more of my videos, and also feel free to follow me on Twitter guys. Also. Let's get a light goal of a thousand, that would be much appreciated, and I would probably guarantee another part of the series, but we will see guys. So anyways, a little summary of what happened last time is that Bardock, Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta went off to go after Bobbity, and this led to the four of them facing off against Bobbity's minions of Pui Pui, Yakon, and Deborah. All the Z Fighters were able to defeat them, and then it ended up with Majin Buu still being resurrected. And Vegeta faced off against Majin Buu, and Vegeta was defeated. Then Gohan, who had been training for years with Bardock in between the Cell and Buu Saga, came in and actually was able to be stronger than Majin Buu just as a regular Super Saiyan 1. Yes, Gohan is really, really strong in this What If series. Losing causes Majin Buu to get extremely pissed off and eventually Evil Buu comes out and it goes to Super Buu, Gohan is not strong enough for Super Buu, then Super Buu absorbs Gohan and Vegeta and then Goku and Bardock have to fuse, become Boruto and they defeat Buuhan. Then they end up defusing because of the time limit and it's happily ever after or so we think. So now we're gonna get into the territory of the new what if, that was just a bit of a summary. So basically, Gohan and Vegeta were killed when Boruto killed Buhan. What they do in the meantime is, Gohan and Vegeta are wished back, as well as the people that were killed by Bu. And in the meantime, between the Bu saga and Battle of the Gods, several years pass. And between this, all the Z fighters keep on training, but mainly Gohan, Vegeta, and Bardock are the ones that keep training. Gohan and Bardock mainly spend their time training together. So Bardock actually catches up to Gohan. Now he's not as strong, Gohan would still beat him in a fight, but he starts to catch up because of all the exposure and all the training that he's doing. Also, Goten's getting stronger as well because he's more involved with training, but he's too young and he's still really not comparable to the older Z fighters that are more experienced. Gohan and Bardock eventually achieve the Super Saiyan 3 transformation through years of extensive training and huge power increases and they spend time mastering the form. Meanwhile, Goku actually still stays in the other world to train 24-7 with the universe's best fighters and honestly this could be something very interesting to happen in the future. Goku just stays up there and he literally fights the best fighters in the existence of the universe and he trains 24 7 because he does not have to sleep. So Goku's gonna be insanely powered by the later in the in the this whole what if series is gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger because he's gonna be training and training and training he's gonna get exponentially stronger. So this still leads to Beerus waking up wanting to know about the Super Saiyan God because even with Goku dead, there still is the possibility of a Super Saiyan God because there are Super Saiyans. Instead of Beerus going to the other world or going to King Kai's planet to meet with Goku, Goku is not there. So he just goes to Earth and Beerus is far superior in power to everybody there. Just wrecks them. He wrecks Vegeta. He even wrecks a team up of Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and Super, Sa Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. They both team up to try and fight Beerus and Beerus still effortlessly beats them. And it is revealed that Gohan and Bardock had been taught the fusion dance and that they were about to actually do this fusion dance as well. So Bardock and Gohan do the fusion dance and we get Godok or Barhan. I don't even know what to say guys, but let's just say it's one of those two names. And then this 
ultimate fusion of Gohan and Bardock, they go Super Saiyan 3, and they try and fight Beerus. Beerus still effortlessly defeats this fusion because Beerus is freaking Beerus. He's the god of destruction and probably one of the strongest gods of destruction. With this fusion defeated so easily, everybody is shocked, scared, and they don't know what to do because this was a Super Saiyan 3 fused fighter and Beerus like with one swift hit defeated them they reverted to the base form and they defused Beerus just molly whopped them it wasn't even a contest and of course throughout this Beerus you know was asking about the Super Saiyan God they didn't know what it was they didn't know about it Gohan being as smart as he is thinks about using the Dragon Balls to ask Shenron what the Super Saiyan God is. And Beerus, of course, grants the request because it would just be like, you know, what had happened in canon. They do this, they find out what it was, they find out how to do the ritual, and they end up doing it. They decide to have Bardock be the actual taker of the Super Saiyan God transformation because, one, Bardock had more pure of a heart than Vegeta because Bardock's been a huge family man for years now and he's a very protective of his family. He's, he's pure heart now. Also, because Gohan is a half Saiyan, they aren't sure if it would actually even work on him since he is half human. Also, another reason is that Bardock's foresight. Now, I did not actually mention this in the last two parts very much about his ability to see into the future. But I want to make that more of a part of this series and from the future of it. And that because of this, it might be good to have, you know, Bardock to have the Super Saiyan God transformation because he can see in the future that can mean he's more wise than the others. Of course, the ritual first doesn't work because they don't get it right. And then they bring in Videl, who's pregnant, and then they do it. This leads to Super Saiyan God Bardock. Is this really the Super Saiyan God? Beerus expresses to Bardock, and Beerus is extremely excited. He finally gets to face off against the Super Saiyan God. He can sense that he does have God Key, so it must be a Super Saiyan God. And the fight goes on. Beerus still has the upper hand, but Bardock can actually put up a fight. And this Bardock was actually stronger than Goku when he got the Super Saiyan God form. But still, you know, Beerus is much stronger, but Beerus would just be a bit more impressed. Of course, Bardock would infuse the Super Saiyan God into his actual base form, go Super Saiyan on top of that, and Bardock would just be as a whole much, much stronger. Beerus is satisfied with the fight, and he saves Earth. Not only does he get to fight the Super Saiyan God, but Earth has just amazing A1 cuisine. No other planet in the universe can match. You have achieved the form of Super Saiyan God, and therefore, I will not destroy Earth. This would end up leading to Vegeta asking to be trained by Whis, and Whis grants the request. Bardock joins them. Bardock joins Vegeta to do training, but the difference here is, is that Bardock goes when Vegeta goes. So because of this, Bardock's going to be even more stronger because he's going to be training with Vegeta from the get-go with Whis. It's not going to be... Vegeta gets months of training with Whis in advance, and then Goku joins, it's going to be, they do it right away. Gohan actually decides to stay on Earth, be the defender of Earth, and keep on training in his own way. Gohan is very strong in his own right. He's stronger than even Ultimate Gohan from the end of the Buu Saga, and this Gohan can go Super Saiyan 3. So he's just going to focus on his own training. Yes, Bardock and Vegeta will surpass him heavily with God Key and the Super Saiyan God transformation, but... He'll be alright on his own. So during the course of the fight of Beerus, Goku actually was aware of what was happening. Even though he was dead and could not intervene, he went and he watched the fight. He saw how strong Beerus was, and he was pissed off that Beerus was going to destroy the Earth, but he just couldn't intervene because uh, it was Beerus and Goku was dead. Then Goku saw his own father achieve the Super Saiyan God transformation. And Goku was heavily intrigued and really wanted to look into this. So Goku actually goes back to the other world to seek out other pure-hearted Saiyans so that he can do the ritual himself. So Bardock, while training with Whis, gets much, much stronger, and so does Vegeta. And both of them achieve the power of Super Saiyan Blue. And with extra training from Whis and even talking to the Oracle, Bardock is able to develop his gift of foresight to see even more clear into the future, but he can also now use it to predict the attacks of opponents. So Bardock is not only a very, very strong fighter with God Key Super Saiyan Blue, but he now has advanced his foresight, not only see even clearer into the future, which would make him more wise, but also he can use this 
and fights to kind of foresee opponent's attacks. So Frieza still returns for revenge on Goku. He would know that Goku's actually dead because of his soldiers left behind who like were scouting out Goku, but he'd still want to kill Goku's friends and family and then destroy Earth as vengeance, and then Goku could just see this unravel from the other world and Goku could do pretty much nothing about it. Or the Z Fighters arrive when Frieza arrives, and kind of the same shit happens. The Z Fighters destroy all the Frieza soldiers, and this Gohan would still be much stronger than the Gohan in the real revival of F. Not only would his base power be stronger, but he could go Super Saiyan 3. Gohan would just destroy anybody. Uh, he could destroy Tiktagama easily, and he would be a bit more of a fight put up against first form Frieza, but I still think first form Frieza would be able to defeat a po more powerful Super Saiyan 3 Gohan because Frieza is just so freaking strong after he trains for four months. So Goku watching from the other world realizes that his Earth, his friends and his family, his own sons are in trouble. So he goes and warns Bardock and Vegeta of what's happening. Bardock and Vegeta go to Earth and Frieza is shocked to not only see Vegeta but Bardock. The Saiyan who stood up against him many many years ago. This would be a really cool dynamic to see Bardock get his revenge against Frieza, the man who killed him, the man who destroyed his entire Saiyan race, the man who caused his own squad to be killed because they were betraying the Saiyans. It would be very cool to see Bardock get his vengeance and the you know the dialogue between these two would be awesome. Seeing Bardock finally use his now battle ability of foresight against Frieza, that would be cool. And you know Bardock would go Super Saiyan Blue, Frieza would still go Golden. Frieza locks eyes with Bardock. Bardock looks extremely familiar to him. Then he remembers what had happened years ago when a low and Saiyan stood up against him. This was that Saiyan. You're the Saiyan that stood up against me long ago when I destroyed planet Vegeta? Yes, that is me, and now I am back. And now, I am much, much stronger, and I will kill you myself. Bardock then explains that his own son had defeated Frieza years ago as well. And Frieza at first was confused and then drew the connection. You're the father of son Goku? And Frieza was so surprised how the Saiyan that stood up against him years ago, that his son would end up becoming the Super Saiyan, the one that would defeat Frieza, ruin his empire, and ruin basically his life. This caused Frieza to be even more enraged and set up the fight even more. Now Frieza was getting revenge against the man who brought the bane of his existence to exist, Goku. Without Bardock, Goku doesn't exist. So Frieza is freaking pissed off. But in this scenario, I would see Bardock destroying Frieza. This Bardock is not only stronger than Goku, but he has the gift of foresight to see into the future to see Frieza's attacks. Sadly, Vegeta does not get to kill Frieza, and he, so Vegeta doesn't get his full on vengeance, but Bardock does. So after this Frieza fight, we see Goku and the other world just flying around, and we see him finally land down, and he sees a group of humanoid beings, and these guys are old Saiyans. It turns out these were the Saiyans that originally did the Super Saiyan God transformation. Now, if these Saiyans were pure of heart, and they did the Super Saiyan God ritual, they would be in heaven, in the other world, with, likely with their bodies, and not in hell. So this means that Goku could end up, in fact, finding them. So Goku arrives, and he goes to meet these guys. And Goku, of course, is like, hey guys. And these guys are like, what are you, what are you doing here? Goku then says, well, I'm a Saiyan, and I'm looking for your other Saiyans to do the Super Saiyan God ritual. And if you guys are Saiyans, that means you're likely pure of heart, since you are in heaven, not in hell. These Saiyans then actually inform Goku that they were the first Saiyans to go Super Saiyan God. They did the ritual together, and they said to Goku that the ritual might not work because they are all dead. But they do say that they can train Goku so that he himself will figure out how to go Super Saiyan God. Just like how Whis can train Vegeta to go Super Saiyan God, basically that's how it's going to be. But anyways guys, what do you think about this video? Let me know down below, leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you are new, turn on notifications if you want to see more of my videos, and also feel free to follow me on Twitter. Before we go, I have to sh give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters, Diraj Payton, the awesome guy who only supports Broku on Patreon, Zach Trotaku, and my Super Saiyan 2s, Israel Flores, Mystic Ghoul, Darius. Thank you guys so much for helping me out on Patreon. If you want a shout out at the end of all my videos, 
and go to my Patreon and become a supporter. But guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.